Evening boys, I'm Fow, and tonight's going to be the last blaster box that I'm going to do for the 2021 series. Uh, I had a, a bunch of fun opening these up, ripping them. It's been a good time. Uh, it took me back to my childhood. I just recently started collecting within the last six months. Uh, I feel that I got a lot of good variety of the different types of boxes. I uh, was fortunate enough to get them all at retail, uh, about 20 bucks a pop rather than the 35, 40, 45, even higher uh, based off the secondary market. But for tonight, I've got the Allen and Ginter one for you. This is the last one that I'm going to do for this series for the blaster box. Uh, these are a little bit different. These are based on the old Allen and Ginter tobacco company cards. So these kind of have those that vintage feel to them. Uh, as far as the design goes and the photo, uh, the photography with it and whatnot. I do like the artwork on these. They're, they're pretty classic. Um, but like I said, this is going to be the last one that I do for this series. And I'll do some when the next uh, set of cards do come out, which should be due next month. And as long as I can get my hands on some of them. But boy, it's been, a, it's been a rough go of it as far as pulling anything of value or anything that I would like to keep in my PC. Um, I do personally collect the Dodgers. I do like collecting the New England Patriots as well. I'm a fan of both teams, but clearly I've been doing a lot more baseball on that. I do like to collect Justin Turner and Cody Bellinger as well. So maybe we'll get lucky and have something in here. Uh, I did want to end with this one though. This one is a bit unique just because they don't just have baseball players in these. They have a lot of weird goofy type stuff. I believe it, when I did the hobby box rip of this, which obviously I didn't make a video for, um, they had little mini pictures of the galaxy in addition to, I think, trees is what is what would the other one that they that they made big on this and then i think i got a couple of whale pictures uh, bottom line there's a lot of goofy stuff in here that's not related to baseball so for people who aren't dead set on ripping just sports type stuff it's it's really kind of unique in that sense if you're not into that and just want baseball uh, i'd probably steer clear of this product because uh, it's going to have a lot of stuff that kind of has that w2f w2tf feeling to it excuse me um these are the types of cards that they do have, as you can see here. Uh, you can get on-card autographs on these. A lot of them are hand-numbered, I believe. They don't do the um, gold stamp that you guys have seen on any parallel number parallels that I've gotten before. Uh, but they also do have game-used relics as well. I do like that aspect of it. Um, here are the odds, if you guys care to look at them. Like any other blaster box, it's been really tough to pull anything, guys. It's uh, it's been a been a rough year for that. So I think I'll stick to to hobby stuff or collecting single cards at this time, just because, boy, these guys. Um, it's good if you want to just try it out, which is what I'm doing to show you guys the different types. And you know, if you're into collecting or if you're thinking about getting into collecting, maybe this will help a little bit. There are much bigger channels on there, out on YouTube that do the big, more expensive products, the stuff that you really pull the unique stuff, the really rare stuff, the valuable stuff on there. Um, but this is just a little, you know, a little channel that I kind of put together just for something, I guess, for close friends. But any of the rest of you out there watching, I do appreciate it. Uh, the ones that I did pull from the hobby box here, um, I did get the the two game use relics. You get an autograph and you get a, two relics in the hobby boxes, which were pretty nice. The weird part about it is you don't always get baseball players. As you can see here, this um, he's uh, Ben Soffer. And when I pulled this one, I thought it was a really interesting concept. I had no idea who he was. Apparently, he's an entrepreneur, a uh, big Instagram influencer, and founded the company uh, Spritz Society, which I believe is pre-mixed uh, fizzy cocktails, I think. You can go ahead and look him up for that if you'd like. Uh, so I do have his autograph, I suppose. And if you look, it's kind of in a framed uh, it's a framed mini card, so to speak. I'll just pull it and go a little bit closer here. So uh, the card itself is a mini version of a full-size card that's actually framed is what they call it. So this is uh, the boy with no job, uh, Ben Soffer. So I have Ben Soffer's autograph, and so I'm not just into baseball or sports, so I guess I, I, I kind of got a kick out of it, so I really like this. If you guys have kids, this is a perfect product to rip with them, uh, especially if they're not super into sports yet um but yeah we'll just kind of go ahead and go ahead and get into the rip then i don't want it to keep you guys too long i feel like i need set people to keep me on track there so you get 48 total cards 
uh, seven packs plus an extra pack, eight packs, I guess. I don't know, whatever. And let's see here. See if I pull a last box magic here, a last pack magic, but let's see if we can get a last box magic. So here's our packs. I like that they rip easy. So we got a JT Brubaker rookie card, old Pirates. Got a Uncle Larry, uh, Fred McGriff. All right, so here are the um, the unique things to this. So you don't just get baseball cards. Here's one of the um, animal cards here. The Deep Sea Shiver Great White Shark. I think I actually got this in a big box top loader that come in the hobby boxes. Um, just a bigger size postcard kind of deal on that. Uh, these are the other ones. You get one of these and, and one of these in every pack. Uh, these little mini miniature cards. And this one is of Kyle Lewis. And then, I'm not sure who that is. Cole Calhoun. Got a Mariano Rivera. Another rookie card of Paven Smith. Pavin Smith. Got a Stan Musial. That makes it really hard to hold out. You got a Jeff Bagwell. Mini. And look at that. I got a Los Angeles Dodgers one. I hope that's not the only one that I get. But hey, that's got old Cody Bellinger on there. I do like that card. And then a Babe Ruth to end that one. The inserts on these I think are pretty cool. Um, they're definitely unique, but it's really hard to store them with those mini cards. Got an Alan Trammell. Uh, Davey Garcia, I believe. Yep. Got a Derek Lee. Got a Luis Garcia mini. And then uh, Birds of a Feather, the Rainbow Lorikeet. This is the other uh, unique insert. I believe the, the trees and birds are, are in this one in addition to sharks and maybe manatees. And then a Jesus Sanchez of the Marlins rookie card. The design's not bad. The cards themselves are in a little bit thicker card stock. Got a Alejandro Kirk. Got a Trevor Lawrence. Got a football card. These aren't numbered. These are just unique inserts. I got a Roy Wood Jr. He must be some kind of celebrity. I'm not sure who he does. The Alabama radio pioneer. Dabbled in radio while at Florida AM, and but was drawn to... It's on Late Show at Daily Light Running Homes. Got a black border, is that Mark Anthony? All right, so that's a black border. So that's um, a parallel, so to speak. If you notice on um, a lot of these, there's there's no border on there. Um, this little black border right here. So that's, that's one of their parallels. It's not numbered, but it's considered uh, one of their parallels. Got a Carlton Fisk and a Joe Maurer. Uh, Reese Hoskins, the old vet. I'm not sure who she is. Kim Nung. A Eugenio Suarez. A Bianca Smith. I wonder if she's a super fan. And the first African American woman to work as a professional baseball coach. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. And then 
There's the West Indian Manatee that I was telling you guys about, so that's kind of a goofy card. Um, and then Roger Clemens. You got Alex Kirilov rookie card. Uh, Brady Singer rookie. There's a little Buster Posey. He's going in the Hall of Fame. Then a Josh Gibson. And a Detroit Tigers team. With a little Miggy on there. And the last one is another Jesus Sanchez. Or Sixto Sanchez, excuse me. I apologize. All right, got a Mark Burley. Is that uh, J.D. Martinez? Yep. Is that Trent Grisham? Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. mini. That's a nice little one. Try not to get my torn up thumbnails in there. There's the Arboreal, Arboreal Appreciation for Scarlet Oak. And that one, last one is a Kyle Tucker. And the last one of this blaster box. Is that a thick card? That can't be a thick card. No, I don't think it is. Well, the mini fell out. So our mini is hats off, uh, cowboy hat. <laughs> so that's the kind of stuff you can pull in these, uh, which is why I said it's great for kids. Uh, I get a kick out of that. You got a cowboy hat. You got a Ian Hap. And I, oh, I got, a, I got a relic here, fellas. Well, that's not too bad for a blaster box. What we got in here? That's uh, I think that I believe that's a bat relic. That looks like a bat relic to me. So that's pretty cool. Of Jeff McNeil, star second baseman slash outfielder of the New York Mets. It's not from any specific game, event, or season. But I'll take that. I don't have a bat relic. So there we go. That's a nice hit. Put them right in the middle there over the old cowboy hat. We got Edgar Martinez. This is one of the top's historical hits. This is another insert that they do. And the last one is a Lou Brock of the St. Louis Cardinals. So, hey, guys. Actually, I don't mind getting a, a quote-unquote hit out of a blaster box. Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of luck with it. But um, I like that one. That's not too bad. So that does it for the Blaster Box this season, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, or at least uh, learned something. And uh, we'll catch you next time.